Oh, wow. There we are. I can't split my pants. I can't split my There are no givens in our lifetime, and we're kind of at the whims of what fate has in store for us, and so it's up to us to, to live our moments. I remember the day we knew he was very sick. I can think back and I remember like step by step what I did that entire day. I knew when I got that call that this, this was not good. This is not. Feel like you're drowning. Like your life that you previously had control over has slipped out of your grasp. The official diagnosis was T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma slash leukemia, uh, essentially a cancer of the immune system. It was a nightmare that I couldn't wake up from. We all felt, in a way, helpless together. We also felt empowered together. It took me a long time to accept the fact that I'll never have an answer to the question of why. Like, why did I, why cancer, why me? It's a, it's a test. It's a mental and physical test. For whatever reason, this particularly vivid dream that one day I would have a daughter um, gave me uh, a, a great sense of hope. And then, you know, March 2019, here we are, we were blessed with a daughter, Roya. So. Life's crazy. I wasn't sure if I'd ever get to a point in my life where um, cancer would be something that happened to me in the past. But the more time goes on, the more that perspective feels realistic. He's always had that in him, but as he's matured, and I think as the world's kind of um, set him down this path, it's really that's just like home, that that skill is just like really like magnified now, and it's it's what, Mommy, what defines him and makes him drive. Count. Good job. Good job. Buddy. <laughs> Bike to Tyler is more than two wheels. It's it's symbolic of of being triumphant. It's sim symbolic of conquering anything. Tyler never stopped riding his bike. We are curing forms of cancer. What makes that possible is the research and funding that goes into developing new and innovative therapies. Pedal is our opportunity to support organizations doing potentially life-saving research right here in San Diego. He has opened up this part of his uh, healing that was not being accessed before. I watched my parents struggle with the burden of my own journey. I ride for the caregivers. No one is there caring for them in the same way while they're, you know, pouring out their heart and soul into my health and well-being. You don't stop thinking about appreciating the little things. I mean, we, we knew several people that didn't make it, and that's the harsh reality of these diseases. And we have to celebrate those and that do, and those that didn't stick it together. Are we survivors? Are we thriving? Are we fighting? I guess just the fact that I'm able to be on my bike, raising money for a cause that has impacted me so personally is something I, I feel a great sense of gratitude for. It goes a long way to be able to talk to someone who faced death and who came out the other side and lived to talk about it. I, there were times where I thought I wasn't going to make it, but look at me now. It always felt like we were given this very strange gift it feels like you're given a second chance. That, that feeling is in, inspiring in a way, but I almost wouldn't change what we went through because it's allowed us to appreciate our lives more than I probably did before.